Hello everyone, this is Ayşenur Altan. Today we are making makruta cookies. It's a famous cookie in the Middle Eastern and nearby countries. It has lots of different spices, flavors, along with beautiful date filling, some butter, oil, semolina. It's differently from other cookies, it will have yeast. And here are the spices. We have fennel seeds, cardamom, and anise seeds should be used, but I don't have, so I'm not gonna add. Mahne powder, mostly used in Middle East and also in Greek recipes. Another beautiful aroma, mastic gum. It comes from a special tree. The Greece has a beautiful mastic gum, but it is widely used in Middle Eastern uh, desserts as well. And cinnamon. They also have a mix of powder to use, especially for the recipe, uh, named Kak. If you can find, you can also use in your cookies. Another flavoring will be orange blossom. If you cannot find, you can use orange rind or use vanilla. Okay, I'm so excited to make this today. Let's begin. So first I'm going to melt my butter and I will also ground some of my uh, spices that are in seeds, the fennel seeds and cardamom. To help to ground more, I added some of the sugar I'm going to use for the cookies. If you find the mahne powder in seed form, you can also ground with the other seeds together. So my spice mix is ready. Normally in this kind of recipes I add the wet ingredients first and then add the dry ingredients. But since the recipe calls the dries first, I'm gonna do that. But still we'll use the flour amount gradually. So I will add two cups of all-purpose flour. Going to sift it. and full teaspoon of the spice mix and a bit more about a fourth of a teaspoon two tablespoons sesame seeds these are roasted dry yeast and semolina let's also add the sugar Now the vegetable oil, melted butter, and I will mix it first before I add the milk and more flour. And gradually add the milk while kneading the dough until it doesn't stick and playable. I use the rest of the milk and add about half cup more flour. I forgot to add the orange blossom water so I add it at the end with a little bit more flour. So my dough is ready. It came out perfect 
it is a bit soft but I'm gonna rest it. The recipe calls actually to rest for even up to overnight but I'm gonna do everything today and will rest only for about an hour. When it rests the semolina will continue to soak wet ingredients, the moisture so I kept it a bit softer and we'll check after the resting process and then we'll see if it needs either milk, water or more flour. And meanwhile, I'm also going to prepare my date filling. Along with half a kilogram of dates that I pitted, I added the rest of the spice mix, the cinnamon and about a teaspoon of water and processed everything. Added half a tablespoon of butter and mixed well again. Okay, my dough has rested. I just checked. Oily but still playable and nice. My date feeling a bit sticky. When you use ready date paste, it becomes like a playable dough. But since I use soft dates in a box, they came out very sticky. So I will probably try to spread with a spatula. I'm going to divide my dough into half and then roll it on a baking paper, spread half of the date mixture and then shape it. After spreading the date filling with the help of the baking paper just fold from the sides for about 3-4 cm and do the same thing from the other side and I cut it from the middle before fold the leftover part. To cover the sides of the cookies, the macrutas, with more sesame seeds, just sprinkle on top or on countertop and roll it again, it will press to the sides. I cut it into about 2 cm thickness, but here my friends, by mistake, I just flip them, normally it should be placed to the trays in the same way you cut. It also worked this way, but if you want to do it in the traditional style, don't flip like me and place it as is to the tray. For the other half of the dough, the second batch, I did the same steps. Since the dough was a bit more oily, I used some flour. And for the filling, I decided to add some cacao powder to make it a bit darker and stiffer and added some walnuts. With the cacao powder, the paste became more stiffer, but still you cannot just work as a playable dough but I was able to have a no more stiffer 
and a thicker paste. Probably it's because of the date type that I use. I would appreciate whoever knows this recipe from before if it's from their region you are welcome to share your experiences and if there are things that I can do better on the recipe. Okay, my makruta cookies are ready. I baked for about 20-25 minutes and alternately changed the trays so they cook evenly. Now I'm gonna taste one. And the one I put cacao powder, the second batch, has a bit darker color. And also I see the walnuts, I'm sure it gave even more deep taste. So it's optional. But uh, I think it works nicely. Let me taste one. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mm. I was very curious on how the yeast going to work. But it is really very like crumbly. A bit crunchy outside and uh, chewy coming from the date paste beautiful texture the taste really reminds me the ones that i tasted store-bought so it is similar but even better because it is freshly out from the oven when i was searching i also realized that this makruta is like levantine region middle eastern recipe this means that we share the same culture we share the same food hummus this or kadayif or anything else common things that makes us friends instead of our differences. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.